dying of thirst. This makeup is hard, hard to put on. It's like putting on um, the thickest paste you could ever buy. It's not anything like regular makeup. And uh, I told Carolyn we needed soft lighting because it shows every single thing. Anyway, cheers. I can see why people needed uh, people to dress them in this era. This is just the skirt, which is like amazing. But with the dress, you'll see in a minute, you really need something to make it stick out. What do you think, Carolyn? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is really a beautiful dress. I wouldn't even mind dressing like this. I would go out or something. But these women, um, even though this is the part of the aristocracy we're filming to, or shooting today, they didn't really have any rights, and so that's why the tears, because they didn't, they couldn't speak, very small mouth, a painted, uh, no voice, they couldn't vote. Um, their duties were to stay home and have babies and make their husbands happy, which there's nothing against that, but I'd really like to be able to vote and, you know, have my own voice. voice. Um, I think my impression of the white makeup and the small mouth is like, I felt like when I was putting it on, I was making myself as invisible as possible. You know, and that's the way I feel. All, you know, with no, no attributes to my face, just plain white, I actually feel kind of invisible. And it's more than just feeling without makeup. It's a, kind of a soul feeling. Um, it's not a good feeling. That was the philosophy toward women during that time. Yeah, it was. They just needed to be invisible and be homemade. That smells pretty good. See all of the Glamour Women paintings on my website, carolynhancock.com.